evening routine guys usually we take a, a walk in the compound trying to check on the situation in the evening yes to try and see if everything is okay in the compound you know there's a compound where there is chicken you may come from work and just enter the house and not know that there are some chickens that are out there that have not entered the chicken house and uh, this would be so disastrous because what happens in the night the dogs come and they eat up the chicken oh by the way they cleaned my they cleaned my my garbage, the garbage area they, they did the cleaning oh my god this is so good they picked all the dirt that was here and they burned it so i wonder how it burned when it is raining like this this now looks clean wow anyway guys so what you do what i do is the, i have a, an evening routine where i check around the compound to make sure that the chicken have entered the house and uh, this is what I'm doing guys when the chicken are in I know that uh, they will not be eaten by the dogs so uh, evening routine other than chicken there are many other things that you have to check because you have to make sure that uh, Everything is in order. Yeah. Make sure that everything is in order. Guys. Mm, this is my... <laughs> ah, this is my kitchen garden that I've surrounded with that net there. The netting, the green netting material. You know, um, it's good to, to secure the kitchen gardens. But uh, you are sure that the chicken do not get in when you have planted some veggies to go and destroy them and this is the area where i do my rowdy in the day uh, you know this used to be an a jacuzzi at home which i removed from inside the house and today it helps me when i'm washing the duvets you know those heavy blankets i soak them in here and uh, I wash them so this is it my aloe vera here guys <laughs> this tree is very very important in my life and in everybody's life because those for those people that do not know aloe vera is a, a plant that uh, has got many healing properties it, it takes care of uh, many diseases you may have uh, some issues with your oh this reminds me of shoes that I had put up here oh it's good I remembered them oh my god I remember these shoes that I had put up there my walking shoes <laughs> sandals not shoes sandals so I was talking of aloe vera that has got many healing properties. You can boil this aloe vera plant when you are having stomach issues. And uh, this is the leaf that you you pluck and use, put in water and boil and drink that water. It's very bitter. You can only add asadi. Asadi is honey, so that you are able to swallow that. But if you are having stomach issues, it will clean the the instant the intestine issues it cleans that is for those that like herbal treatments you know uh, the other day Maro was doing his videos and he said he doesn't like the medicines but he likes taking some traditional herbs to treat his issues and uh, people are like oh Maro you have to go to hospital why do you have to take you know it's good to take this tradition <laughs> let me sit here and tell you guys this aloe vera, if you took it when you have issues with the stomach, it just clears, guys. If you have issues with malaria, it clears. And uh, if you have issues with, uh, you know, there are some people that have got stomach worms, worms, 
that disturb you, your stomach and your system. You feel like your stomach is rambling, you boil this water and drink, you are good to go. You never have issues with that again. So this plant is very, very important, guys. Very, very important. Uh, uh, try it if you have it in your compound and if you have issues. As for the ladies, you know most of our uh, oils that we apply on our faces have got aloe vera on our hair. You see, they have got aloe vera. And uh, this aloe vera, aloe vera is this plant. This one. Let me, let me zoom so that you can see this plant. Hey, let me zoom. This is the plant. This is aloe vera, guys. That's the plant. So most of our beauty products that we apply in our, on our bodies, um, you can see most of them have, uh, they, they indicate there is aloe vera. This is the plant. And uh, this is a product, this is a plant that we, you, you, if you have it, you can sell it to the beauty uh, companies. And uh, it grows wild. It's, um, okay, you can plant it, but most of the times you find it even in the in the forest like the other day i was taking a walk in karura um karura is a forestry um, area in kenya where people go hiking and walking and all that and uh, you could see so many aloe vera plants there that have just germinated and grown there others were planted by people so aloe vera is a plant of substance and it is very very beneficial so now guys, it is, uh, as I told you, I was taking an evening uh, routine, I was doing an evening routine, you know sometimes you hang clothes and you forget to pick them up, or they are picked up by somebody else that you have maybe assigned the job, and uh, most of my compounds issues are taken up by somebody else, because I'm not there, you remember I'm working, so when I come home, usually I do the evening routine. And the evening routine uh, entails walking around the compound, checking how it is. You cannot just enter and and take rest without checking out whether your compound is clear, is, is uh, safe. And uh, so when you get in, you are sure to rest, knowing that everything is okay outside. So this is an evening routine that I'm taking. First of all, let me take these sandals in there. Take the sandals home. Those tanks are to make sure that they are not they are closed. Because if you don't close them, have you noticed that there, there are so many snails when it rains? There are so many snails. And uh, you may forget to close the tanks, uh, lids, the the covers, and uh, you get to find that snails have entered through these lids. It has to be closed. You have to make sure that it is properly closed because when it rains, this water should not get contaminated because this is the water. You see, this is the level of water. This is the water we are using in the house. It is the water that they pump. These two tanks. You see, we have a lot of water. These are the tanks that we collect water with from the the pipeline, the Nairobi water, uh, and it comes in there so it has to be properly checked that it is locked or closed on top before you get inside the door the and are you people used to walking out in the night you know i don't walk out in the night when i come from work and i enter the house i just sit in the house i will not walk out in the darkness i'm one person who is afraid of the dark so what i do is i take my evening uh, check I check everything to find that it is okay, everything is fine out here, and uh, then I, I proceed to the inside of the house, and I don't walk out again, oh my god, imagine me being out there in the night, I don't like that, I fear, <laughs> I think it's just because I'm, uh, <laughs> there are people who don't mind the darkness, I'm not, a, I'm not a dark person, I'm not a night person. <laughs> I will not even go out there in the night because I don't like it. So guys, I have ensured that everything is okay. It's as cool as you can see. Very cool. It's dark. This is 7 in the evening. I've just gotten home. 
And now, let me now get inside, inside the house, and uh, see if there is supper to be made. I have to decide whether I have to cook or to uh, maybe do the leftovers because I'm all alone at the moment. If there, let me see. So I have to make sure that I have, I have to check whether the leftovers are there. If they are not there, if they are not there, I will uh, cook something. I'll have to eat something. I have to check first. So let me see. Uh -huh. Entering the home at in the evening, I mean, uh, especially when you are alone. And we are just, uh, it is exactly seven in the night. And uh, you want to know whether you have to do dinner or forgo it. There are times you can forgo, especially for those people who hate cooking. But the first thing I do when I enter to the, into the house is to come and say hi to him. Hi, this is my best friend. <laughs> when I say hi to him... <laughs> I find out how his day was. How was your day? Mm -hmm. How was your day? <laughs> this is my friend. He sits here. He's the one who gives me company. And I like him so much. So I say hi to him. I sing a song for him. Bea, 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 how are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Little bear, little bear, how are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? <laughs> okay, he likes, he likes keeping me company. So I later now, uh, because I like watching news, I quickly go to the kitchen. And uh, before I sit to relax, I'll have to know whether I'm cooking, going to cook or not. So uh, I go to the kitchen and it is good to enter the kitchen first so that you decide before you sit. Have you ever sat down and started watching news and you're like, you don't feel like cooking anymore because you, uh, you feel exhausted the minute you sit. So uh, I want to check first whether there is uh, any cooking to be done. And uh, who has to tell me? Nobody. It is me. This place is just the way I left it in the morning. Oh my God. What is in this fridge? Oh my God. What is in this fridge? Oh. oh yes. There's so much in that fridge. Oh my God. Let me not show you the contents. And now. Uh, Okay, so let's, I don't think there's any food here. There are no leftovers, so it means I'll have to do some cooking. Hey, I'm not that person who likes cooking, by the way. I just cook because I'm hungry. I wish I had somebody to cook for me. There are times my nephew cooks for me, but now, like today, I want to tell you for sure I don't know if there is going to be any help. So. Um, there are times I, 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 I'm very lazy and I say, ah, I'll just eat bread. <laughs> I've never seen that person who eats bread because they don't want to cook. <laughs> that is me, so, but it is very unhealthy. It's always good to cook. Food is good. Real food. It makes the body warm and it is good. Oh my God, those shoes are everywhere. Shoes, shoes everywhere. So... What is happening here? Whatever is happening here is uh, the news. News are going on. And I think I'll have to post this video here so that I can watch the news. And guys, I'll speak to you in a moment. So guys, uh, after all that, I feel like taking a cup of coffee first 
Mm-hmm. Before thinking what I need to cook. I feel like I am hungry. Mm. Okay, I can take a snack, small snack. You know, there's no harm. Just a small piece of bread. And a uh, I'm that person who dips in tea. <laughs> These habits we were taught by our mothers to stop doing them. Dipping bread in tea. <laughs> mm. I still like it so much. Sit down and take a cup of coffee. Because I like coffee, guys. about um, taking coffee that if you take coffee you will not be able to sleep that is if you take it in the night um how true is it guys are you able to sleep when you take coffee in the night it depends on your body guys because for me no worries no problem at all I'll sleep like a baby. And guys, taking a snack just before dinner or coffee, will that stop you from uh, maybe taking uh, the main meal? Maybe getting so full. Yeah, it's not good because you may not be able to eat. Hmm. That's enough. I don't want to take too much because I need to eat ugali. Ugali is our staple food and I need to eat it. So guys, I think it's um, it's proper that I don't sit here because um, if I do, I'll not do the cooking. So let me think of what to cook for dinner. Of course it is ugali with veggies. And, uh, and then I'll I'll, uh, I'll make sure that I I continue this free video. After that, guys, what do you think? <laughs> Are you still admiring my hairstyle? My God, this is very foreign with me. I've done hairstyles, but I've not done one like this. So it's making me, you know, I'm keeping on looking at myself. Do you have you? known that there are times you can look at yourself in the mirror and you're like is this going to work on me have you ever gone to the salon and then come home and have done a whole hair a whole head of a <laughs> style that you you went and sat and you had the make on your head while you're keeping quiet but when you get home you look at yourself in the mirror and you bring it down i've done that many times and um, i'm still contemplating on uh, getting used to this hairstyle or maybe removing it and that's why you saw me do a video on uh, styles that you can do while still uh, you know with the same hair that you are you are plated and i was like uh, braided i mean i was like uh, okay this hairstyle i don't want to remove it because i still believe i can pray about with it i can pray about with it i can hold it like that you see if not like that 
you know there are many things i can do with this style i can even leave it like that and today the whole day i've been leaving it like that to just fall like that so this is a style that i'm not going to undo anytime soon it is just making me happy and uh, it's different uh, for a change it's good to have it for a change so guys uh, <laughs> help me keep this style because i need to keep it ah, the sound of chicken guys I, I thought i checked i checked the chicken and they were all okay they are making noise out there oh my god you know there was a time i left chicken out there and uh, they didn't enter the house that they're supposed to sleep in or the shed and a dog came in the night and mauled them and I could see uh, feathers in the morning. I was like, oh my god, I wish I cooked this chicken instead of the dog eating it. I felt so bad. That's why I started the routine. Even the routine, I have to go around and find out if the chicken have entered the chicken house because I don't want them eaten up by dogs. That's why I check. I hear sounds of chicken out there. And remember, I did a, a video checking around to make sure that the chicken are inside. So I don't know why. I'm hearing those sounds and I don't walk out in the dark. No, I don't go out in the dark. Even if it means a dog eating that chicken, <laughs> I'll not go outside because I don't, I don't. Um, I fear darkness. I fear darkness. And I, by the way, I like watching TV and uh, it is part of my evening routine, by the way. I like coming home and first of all sitting here and watching TV. I watch TV, I watch TV, I watch, I can watch people's videos, like now I'm watching Betty AZ, she's actually doing chapatis, she's doing chapatis, Betty, she's doing chapatis, let me show you okay, Betty, I, you, you should check, mine I let it turn a little bit brown, and then when it's a, a little bit brown, you can zoom in in or come to She's table. making chapatis. So I keep giving direction because I don't know what he's seeing at his angle. And he tries, by the way. He really tries. I want you to capture this pan uh, mostly because the, the, the thing is clear, you know? So, you know when you're making chapatis, there's, you have to keep touching it. Because, I mean, like, cook it and touch it's all your hands. So yes, you have to do that to because you have to turn it. See my first chapati? Wow, Ooh, it looks nice. Yeah, what's up? This is the first chapati. Wow, look at that. I wish I was there. Da. So this is done. Just like this. I am. See, I let it sit there for too long. Wow. First one is here. I usually put mine in a hot pot. Hot pot. This is a old fashioned hot pot. That is better easy. Uh, and then, the more the easier. Making chapati for me is too much work. I mean, it's not too much work, but it's work. It's, it's work. It's, it is yeah, it's a lot of work. I also yeah, think so, so because I I, I know how to make chapatis, but oh I find it God, like it's a lot sticky. of work. When you don't put enough flour. Mm -hmm. Look at the so way you roll and put there. Oh, and this is too wide. Yeah, but you don't okay. touch until it is dry, I bit too fast. You are making very nice ones, anyway. So I'm gonna make and then see you on the last chapati. I'm done. <laughs> Oh. Trust me, this is uh this is uh this is the last one. I'm mm -hmm. done as you can see. Uh wow. I don't it is sneeze. Huh? I don't want to sneeze. Yeah. It didn't even take me that long. So I'm on the last one. And it's as a lot of work. See it's guys. Uh takes a lot of work. This is the last chapati. That's how I put it on the pan. On the pan, you have to do like and that. No, no, it didn't even take did it take me that long? It's like 30 minutes. And I'm done. Oh my god, it's a lot of work. So I will do oh, chapatis I like, but the I'll work. Show you. I'll show you. I'll put them on a plate. So That's that Betty easy, right guys. Now, they're still here. Hmm? Wow. Oh, a whole my chapatis are still here. Of uh, chapatis. As you can see, this is hot. So I'm just going to wait for a little bit and I'm, I'm going to show you. <laughs> just, just wait a second. I'll show you. I don't know. 
smells like fish. Huh? It smells like fish. It's a trash can. That trash can we can change for a rip. That trash can is standing by the trash. That's why you say it smells like fish. No, like it actually is. Wow, look at those chapels. We call them chapels. Well, it's not my chapatis, they don't smell like fish. Just show my chapatis. <laughs> Oh, sure look at those chapels. Oh, fish. Fish is good. But I know the trash look at those chapels. Oh changed. my god, they Ooh, look so it's nice. It's a fish. Yeah? You can even tell. Guys, look. Look. Wow. I told you there's a rumor going on that Betty is making good chapels. Yeah, those are nice chapels. I, 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 I agree, Betty. Mm -hmm. Betty, I agree. Those chapels yeah, are so wonderful. Good. Let me move this out of the way. Wow, they look so yummy. I don't cover the part right of the hot pot right away because they uh, the, they sweat. Oh, we have a guest. Oh yeah, they just. Thank you guys for watching the video. I have a busy. She just arrived. <laughs> she just knocked at the door. I'm going to open the door. Hey guys. Hey guys. I have uh, a guest here. I'm so excited. <laughs> And I'm meeting her for the first time. She's actually one of my fans. Nice to meet you, Mary. Who is the guest? <laughs> nice to see you. Oh. Yeah. You know, she told me she's been watching my videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been watching your videos yeah. for some good time. Yeah. And I actually told you that, like, the decision I'm new in Arizona, yeah. kind of new, yeah. not very new. Uh -huh. yeah. But your videos, the content made us, um, like, the decision to move from Men to Arizona. Whoa. Some of this woman's videos. So she's wow, amazing. that is very wow. good news. Yeah, okay. I was actually showing you the chapels, not the guest, but this guest. And you know what? Because of that reason, she brought me a gift. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my God. This, um, I'm from Moana. Yeah. So oh. we call it Agaseche or Ibiseche. Ibiseche. Are you seeing that yeah. gift? Yeah. Wow, we call it Kitaru. Oh, in Kitaru? Yeah. Oh, okay. Kitaru. Yeah, okay. Kitaru. I'm also Kiku, you guys. I made this. We call it Kitaru. Yes. I know how to weave. I weave them the baskets. Oh, she really? made it. Mm -hmm. It looks They're nice. It's so neatly done. Yeah. I oh, my use God. I'm using a machine. Oh, um, um, a needle. A needle. Oh, wow. Wow, guys, look it's at that. It's a lot of work. Does it take long to do this? Oh, my God, it takes forever. <laughs> oh, yes, I can imagine. It's anyway, like, I was not showing all that from sad. Betty. All I wanted to show is uh, the chapatis that uh, Betty was making. So, <clears throat> let me leave her to do her job with the guest as I end this video here. Because, guys, it was... Uh, supposed to be the evening routine and uh, something led to and one thing led to another and I got uh, Betty making chapatis and you know the way I love chapos so I decided to show them to you guys and she has got a way of making very nice chapatis oh my god very nice very yummy <laughs> she has got a way of doing it so guys um let me leave Betty to do her thing. I want to end this video here, guys. And I want to ask you to subscribe to this channel. Uh, for those that have not subscribed. Guys, if you have subscribed, I want to say thank you, thank you a million times. Thank you a million times because of subscribing and taking me to this level that I am in. In fact, let me check. Let me check. Uh, Never Age TV. Never Age TV. Where are you today? Last time I checked, you were at 1.13k. So let me check. Let me check. In fact, I'm going to show you Never Age TV on the screen so that you get to subscribe. When you go to the channel, uh, you're going to search Never Age TV. Oh my God, what is happening? I really want to show you guys from here. Mm. Where is this? I need Never Age TV so that I can show you while on the screen the way I've shown you, Betty. Mm -hmm. Search. No. That's when, when you want to show somebody something is when the 
the devil comes because why is it not opening and I wanted you to see the never age TV from the screen so that you can subscribe to a channel that you have seen so you go to YouTube mm -hmm. okay when you go to YouTube go to search mm -hmm. that's what we are doing guys when you're not seeing I want to show you when it is up there so uh, never age TV let me show you <clears throat> so you we are at never age TV are we able to see the never age TV there yes there yeah there so we say yes and uh, we have said yes we want to see what happens there she is this one in red this girl in red so let's see she's at 1.14 so avoid those uh, not avoid but you don't need to see those uh, okay what we wanted to see is the never age tv guys and we are at 1.14 yes that one that one that one that one 1.14 guys that girl in red a girl in red so guys subscribe to never age tv support this girl guys thank you for your support getting to 1.14 is not a, a joke you have done it you have done it you have subscribed guys thank you for subscribing this is never age tv the one on this end as you can see oh when i show you it go looks upside down oh what should i do should i do it like this no 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 <laughs> what should i do <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't know never age tv so guys subscribe to this channel and thank you for your support thank you for supporting me a million times uh 1.14k that's where we are at and we'll see you in the next one